Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the Bob Simmons Show. I'm Tom Dorado, and Bob, we didn't. It wasn't picture perfect, but it was as complete a game as we had all year long. Probably. It was perfect enough. It was a win. <laughs> and, uh, he, you know, it was good to see our defense uh, come out fired up and create a lot of turnovers. Tom uh, gave us great field position, uh, short drives. I think it was like 12, 23. We're up seven to nothing. And then I think about 12. Uh, it was uh, 14 to nothing, mm -hmm. and that's because our defense really gave us a short field. Well, you get turnovers, and then you put points on the board. Kind of a throwback to a couple of years ago when that, that went pretty well every week. Well, it, it is, and it's really a throwback from the beginning of the season uh, when we played uh, our first ball game. Our defense came up with a lot of turnovers, but we needed to play a complete ball game. We needed to have the kind of momentum uh, necessary for, uh, for playing, playing, playing this game this week. And uh, our kids came out focused. Uh, and uh, really showed up and played well. Well, as you would imagine, there were a lot of highlights in that big win over Baylor, and our highlight package is overflowing with big plays. We're back with that after this opening timeout. Welcome back to the show, and Bob, a lot of snow was predicted. No snow, sunny skies, and we got right after it about 25 seconds right. into the game. No snow, uh, great weather, great football day. I think about 40, 50 degrees, and uh, we came out, won the toss, and decided to defer. The defense wanted to accept the challenge of going on the field first and making something happen. And as you can see, we're kicking off here. Uh, and I thought Russ did a pretty good job of kicking out. Wanted to kick the ball out, but that's about three yards deep time. They, they bring it out. We wanted to make sure that we got a tackle inside the 20. This that, was a that's plus a, all day. That's a, uh, yeah. Our special team was a yeah. plus all day, and uh, they come out with their first play, and you see that Chris Carter not only uh, causes a sack, strips it, but also jumps on the ball. And that's three big plays in one, and he really gives us great field position. But you, you can't script Chris, it any better. Not at all. Come from the back here, causes a sack. Uh, then he should have knocked it in the end zone, then he would have had a touchdown. <laughs> but uh, it gave the offense a uh, great field position, one play, one touchdown. And as you can see, we come out and, uh, you know, I think I also scored uh, two of his uh, touchdowns on sneaks, but mm -hmm. that is real good field position. Seven nothing. And the game is 14:39 uh, until the first quarter. You know? right, before a lot of people even sat down and talking to Chris after the game, he wasn't going to pick it and run it because he was afraid of losing control. Well, well, I'm glad he, he he jumped on the ball. And you can see Chris Massey does a nice job of, of driving uh, on that throw. And uh, our defense is playing pretty good right now. They're going in the inside zone. Uh, come off. This is Albert Craig. I, you know, we had a little wager before the ball game. I said two, but I, I'll take one. Uh, he did a nice job and gave us great field position again. Uh, this is Reggie White. Reggie still continued to run hard and almost turned the corner mm -hmm. on that particular run. And uh, we tried to get him uh, uh, about 78 yards for 1,000. Nice job by uh, Asso. Needs to put that ball away now, trying to keep his balance. Strong runner. Uh, strong runner. You know, Asso is uh, about 200 and, uh, uh, oh, well, about 230 right now. He probably needs to lose a little bit, but he's he big, those hand strong, tackles. agile, and, you know, it's hard to bring him down. And that's a good run, good decision uh, for 14 to nothing. And like you say, it's, it's a short time into this uh, first period, and, and we're up 14 to nothing. Yeah, we would do one of these games because we've had some games in the last few weeks where the turnovers weren't where you want them to be. But, man, they came hot and heavy here well, in the first quarter. They came hot and heavy, and, and you can see that there's a lot of our guys. There's about four or five guys uh, playing with a lot of enthusiasm on that particular tackle. And this is T. Rob coming from the backside and making something happen. Robbie Gillum does a good job of picking the ball up, and uh, that's about uh, I think two fumbles right there. You can see T. Rob uh, quarterback Just comes turns flying up, through comes there. flying in there, throwing his body around, and you know Robbie had a chance to score, but a little bit quicker he probably got to the end zone. But now uh, another opportunity to get it in the end zone here. If great we can. field position here. We go back inside with Reggie, uh, and again Reggie had ran all hard the, the first half. Uh, quarterback sneak for a first down, come inside to run an option. Quick cut up, up, you know, could have had a little bit better blocking. But Reggie picks up about four and also needs to put some air underneath this ball. Uh, if, he, if he does it, I think that uh, Marcellus is, is really going to catch it, but he doesn't. Uh, come out 17 nothing, 6 11 in first quarter. So we got 17 points. Played less than uh, half a quarter. Played less than half a quarter. And uh, you can see here that here's another fumble. I thought we were going to get that one. Uh, our guys are really flying around, hitting all day, and wish we would have came up with that one, but they fumble again. So, uh, and I think, uh, I don't know who came up with this one. I thought it was... Uh, it was Kevin Williams, I believe. It was Kevin? Yeah. Good. Uh, but great field position. Go back inside with Reggie on an ISO play, and uh, Reggie's running very, very hard at this point. Uh, we run a counter play 
Uh, he picks up about two or three yards on this particular play. Third and one. Uh, again, we decided to sneak it, and uh, you know that's been working all day for us. Time kept the drive alive here. Uh, also does a nice job of going inside to uh, Woods. He's got to run. Don't stop. He, he's going to get hit anyhow, so he might as well run. Might as well run as far as, as you can before as far you as do. He can. And uh, that's a good, strong run inside by Reggie here. And, uh, I don't know what we're discussing here. Probably your, your uh, crutch. Perhaps. Right. <laughs> it shouldn't be on the sideline. <laughs> Here's a good uh, good play. Our fullback catches the ball, and you can see that's Mike Denard, and, and that, that's his play of the year for him. You know? It's a play uh, of the game, you'll see. Southwestern Bell play of the goes game. Back and say, he goes underneath. Nice touch by our quarterback. Lifts it over. Mike makes a good run, and he's stumbling and bumbling, but he's in the end zone. <laughs> And yet another score goes on another the board. Score. We're barely uh, into the second quarter, and the Cowboys are already leading it 23, well, to, 23 nothing. to nothing. 23 to nothing, and uh, our team is playing well, and we're taking advantage of our opportunities that we do have here. And, uh, this is good team defense. A nice job by Chris Carter making the ball. Uh, Kevin makes it bounce, and uh, uh, this is good pressure. Throws it in the ground, but we're not far off a guy. We've got real good coverage. Again, he comes back out. Nice drive. I think Mike Cooper or other uh, – Cooper played one of his better ball games here. Uh, almost got that block time. Uh, as you know, we, we blocked some later on. Yeah, but, preview of things but to come. But it, yeah. it really gave us great field position again. We start this drive on a 45-yard line. Uh, when we were one block away from here, when you watched uh, our end zone copy, we're really making that ball break. But as you can see, uh, Reggie is really churning out the four and five yards. I think he had 5.2 yards of crack here. Come out with a little trickery here uh, to TD Bryant. Uh, good call at that particular time. TD makes one guy miss, takes it down to about the eight-yard line. And you caught him leaning. Uh, caught him leaning here. He runs an option here and also turns it up and uh, does a good job of powering through. It's one-on-one. -on -one. He and his safety. And his safety says, I don't know if I want to tackle him. But, he waited until right. the last second before he came up <laughs> but, and hit but him. But he's in the end zone and got to hold on to that ball, too. Uh, but it's 30 to nothing at this point in time here. And, and like I said, our kids are playing well. Nice play by Jaquay. You know, it only takes the uh, quarterback. But he takes the pitch guy, and he showed a lot of speed and agility on that play. Come back here, and we, we force the pass here inside. Good coverage. Albert Craig did a good job of tackling the guy for a short gain, and uh, then we, we force a bad throw, force another punt here. Here it comes. Uh, I don't think this is the block. Right we, up the well, middle had, here. Had he got not some of it, skipped, he? he got some of it, uh, and, he, and he come off of his right side and uh, short punt. Uh, but Father Carter and Chris Messi did a good job all day of, of pressuring their punter. But they cause all kinds of problems in the middle. Well, they? they do. They do. And they're two guys that's really got to count for. We go back on offense and did not have a good job of protection here on our left side here. Uh, and they get get good field position. Uh, now it's up for us to really try to come up with a uh, uh, keep them out of the end zone. Which Here's I the think trickery this we're is talking the trick about play here. here. Everybody's looking for the ball and he handed it uh, right handed, back to Ricks right. there. Uh, but, you know, we got a corner sitting there, got to make a better tackle. But he picks up about three or four yards, and it really didn't hurt us. Uh, they kick a field goal. We almost got through, and I think uh, what they called was an illegal formation. Mm -hmm. But after they looked over again, it wasn't. But it's 33 at that point. This is a 20-yard line, and this is probably our worst start. Uh, and this is where Reggie goes over 1,000 yards. The 12th uh, player in Cowboys season. history. Right, right. And he's having a heck of a year for us. Come back, this is a real nice heady play by Asso throwing it to Marcellus, and uh, Marcellus is running hard. You know, Marcellus played tight end for us uh, for the first time this ball game. Quarterback draw, and uh, we tell him, if you're gonna tackle our, our big big quarterback, you better uh, tackle him with leverage. Uh, this is a good scramble. I think Jay Fobbs does a nice job of coming back to the ball, uh, picking up a first down here. And, uh, now, also throws a, a nice pass here to Rashawn Woods. Rashawn got to stay up. He'll walk in. He wants to score, but he got to stay up to catch it. And again, our favorite call here is uh, sneak it at one. And uh, we, we get in the end zone, and uh, that's a good play. Celebrate with his teammates. That's important. 36-3. Uh, uh, second half, uh, we come out with a big lead time. Uh, and now what we want to do is just be smart and, and maintain. You see, so that's a good tackle maintain bar. Maintain the intensity. Maintain huh? the intensity. Good tackle bar defense. And uh, we come out, and, and, and here we're, we're playing the zone here. We've got to get a little bit more depth uh, with our drops because we don't want to give a big play. And, and here we had a miscue on our uh, – it's a blitz call to where we're out of position. Anytime we're out of position in a blitz, those things can't happen. Uh, and and uh, now he lost it up. and. 
Uh, Chris is not in a position to make a play, and that leads to a touchdown. He's a pretty good receiver, isn't he, Newhouse? Uh, Newhouse is a good yeah. receiver. And uh, obviously what we did not want to do is let them start to drive. But you can see here, uh, special teams, nice job by Cooper, uh, knocking that ball down. We go back on offense, we really got to answer. Uh, this is a good job by Gabe. Gabe, you got to get up the field. You know, he doesn't, you know, he, he dances around. He's got to get north and south here. Go inside to our young freshman, Tatum Bell, and he do a good job of running for about six or eight yards here. Uh, go back uh, on a reverse to, to, to uh, Jay Fobbs. Uh, makes a guy miss and picks up about 10 more yards for a first down. Uh, and so our offense is really trying to answer their touchdown, which is real good. Nice throw by Asso to Willie Young, and he catches the ball and, and uh, got to get our younger receivers to really start turning up the field. Uh, the offense nice. was in good rhythm all day good long, rhythm. don't this you is think? A, this is a good option call with our wide receivers and T.D. Bryant. And so I like that drive. Uh, they scored. We had to come back out and, and answer it to really cut their momentum. Uh, nice play calling. Uh, T.D. dies for the end zone. Uh, and as you can see right now, it's 43-9. to nine, uh, And we're halfway through the, the third quarter. And we're, we're still putting points on the board. And that's important that we do that and uh, obviously keep them out of the end zone. They go deep here. And, uh, I think that was uh, Bombeck, almost. He's got to keep his feet in. You know, he's got to learn to catch the ball like a receiver, two feet in. He just happened to step out. Uh, they, they go back down deep here, and, uh, uh, which was an overthrow. Uh, and, what you know, it's a passing game. I think that's uh, Juqua. Mm -hmm. uh, does a nice job. He's playing with a lot of enthusiasm. And, uh, you know, this punt team had been close all day, punt return team, and that's Chris Massey. Uh, makes a ni nice move to beat the center. And Paul Jones scoops it up. Uh, you know, he, he goes right by the center. Oh, he came and probably clean, broke didn't his he? Leg. He did. Oh. But uh, this is a good job by Paul scooping it up, falling in the end zone, uh, and scoring. And, and uh, I think that was uh, our, our 50th point, uh, which, you know, that's what special teams does. You, you really score on special teams. And uh, we did that and really had a complete game time. And as you can see what the final score is, 50 to 22. But good day for OSU, good momentum. Uh, and now, uh, bring on the Sooners. <laughs> and also, it was a good day. Everybody happy leaving that dressing yeah. room for a change. And that made you and your staff feel good about that. Well, what was important is that everybody, a lot of people got a chance to play. Mm -hmm. And it was important that, uh, as I said before, we build momentum, you get a lot of smiles on their faces. But we had to uh, play well. Nothing was given. Our team went in there and played. And that, that was very, very important. To we'll us. talk about next week just in a little <clears throat> bit here. As one might expect, the mood in and around the Cowboy dressing room was upbeat following Saturday's win over Baylor. Defense taking advantage of scoring opportunities and Reggie White's 1,000 yards, which is some of the topics covered in the postgame report on this week's Two Minute Drill. We'll show you some of the reaction. And as always, this segment is brought to you by Oklahoma Farm Bureau Insurance. We got to celebrate. We have to celebrate. Let's bring it up. Defensive, uh, defensively, we played a, a really good, sound football game, and and uh, they they caused a lot of turnovers, and and it was easy for us, you know. Even our first score, just a one-yard sneak, but you know, credit to defense today. They played they played well um, all around, and 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 gave us opportunities to, to do something with the ball. So so credit our defense. It's exciting because you know we we've had a tough season. It's been a long uh, drought for us, but. Just to get this W uh, and puts more minimum on our side to, to go into next week, you know, which is a big game uh, for us. Uh, so it, it's good momentum, and it's just it's just good to see everybody smiling, just like you said. Really talked about getting turnovers, and it happened for us. We were all running to the ball, and I think when you run to the ball and put out the effort, good things happen. I told myself that I was going to play hard and do what I ever had to do to get our team in a position to win. I know the offensive line really wanted to get Reggie that thousand yards and he got it today. Yeah, it's you know it's a credit to us, credit to him. He's had a he's had a real good junior season. Uh, hopefully this will start him up for next season, but it makes us feel really good about us getting our job done on the on the field. Our defense really uh, controlled the game against them all day and they gave us a short field because I saw the halftime stats and I was like, we only had that many yards, but I didn't realize the field position we got was just amazing. Still looks good day after that. <laughs> well, it does look good. And uh, uh, all those things that the kids were saying were very important uh, in terms of our attitude. And I think we'll have a great attitude this week.
We're going to meet a guy this week who was in the middle of all that defensive action against Baylor. The other half of the Zach attack will join us on the Bob Simmons Show. Zach Warner's up next. Now it's time for the Big Time Sports Apparel Player Spotlight. Each week we feature the cowboy who typifies the big time attitude to dig down deeper. This week's cowboy in the player spotlight is Zach Warner. Congratulations when you were big time, dig down deeper. Welcome back to the show. The <clears throat> big time player segment goes to Zach Warner. And Zach, that's got to be not only a coach's dream, the way things went defensively against Baylor this past weekend, has to be a defensive player's dream as well. Yeah, it was great. Uh, you know, it's exciting when we're turning the ball over. I mean, I think we got seven turnovers, and we had at least three balls on the ground that we didn't get. And so we were, you know, trying to fight for balls that, you know, we didn't come up with. And, I mean, it's just a, it's a great effort. It just shows what, what can happen if we fly around and make good plays on the ball. It's contagious, too. Once that yeah, first once, one happens, yeah, all of a sudden they kind of just fall in the line. Yeah, once that first one happened, we just kept talking about it. Let's get another one. Let's get another one, you know. Just try to strip the ball. First guy wrap it up. The second guy strip the ball. And made a couple interceptions also. And it was just a, a good overall effort. You like to see you guys enjoying success. They go out there and I work do. hard every week. Well, you know, time being a former defensive coach, that's how defensive played. And I've told them that, that, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> if, if you play with effort, you fly around, you make things happen, you create turnovers, uh, you know, that's a catalyst for, uh, for when the offense comes on the field. And uh, you don't have to wait for the offense to make some things happen. Just make it happen on defense. And, and that's where these guys have played for the last three or four years. So it was good to see uh, – uh, Chris get it started, and the next thing you know, you know, one guy makes a play, the next guy makes a play, and the interception, uh, and uh, uh, and that's what's needed to to, to really uh, have have a good football team. Big weekend coming up for everybody, but especially the in-state guys. Yep. You know the guys in Norman, they know the guys up here. That's what makes it even a little bit more exciting, I think. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I mean, number one team in the country coming in, and it makes it even more because it's interstate. You know, the OSU OU rivals always been a great game, and. We're just going to go out and try to get some bragging rights for ourselves because, you know, we'll see these guys for, you know, probably the rest of our lives and <laughs> we want to be able to talk to them and, you know, rag them a little bit about beating them. You guys wanted the momentum coming out of Baylor. You feel like you got it. Yeah, we do. We, we feel good. It's nice to have, get the win under our belt and, you know, at least defensively, we feel like that we can come out and cause turnovers, get interceptions, and that's what we got to do against OU, that high-powered offense. you got to shut them down, and one of the ways to shut them down is to keep them off the field by getting turnovers. Last go around, huh? Has it Last game. Yet? No, it hasn't. Um, I don't know. It'll probably take a couple weeks till I realize, you know, no more practicing, no more meetings. No more practices, <laughs> no more meetings. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it's just that you move on to the next chapter of your life, and I'll miss it. You know, I'll, you know I love this place, and I'll, I'll miss playing. I'll miss just the little day-to-day -day things that, you know, we go through. And it'll, it's going to be a big change, but, you know, it's, it's life goes on. You've been great for our program. I appreciate <laughs> you coming down on the show. We're back to wrap it all up after this timeout. Welcome back to the show. Bob, 2.30, Lewis Field, Saturday afternoon, Bedlam. That's all that needs to be said. That's all that needs to be said. Bedlam at 2.30. Be there. And I tell you, everybody, <laughs> both places, a lot at stake for both schools as always. Boy, it is. It's, it's a great rivalry, uh, as you said about Zach uh, and, and the players on, on our football team. Naturally, those guys have gone to school together, and, and they look forward to competing against one another. Well, that's all the time yeah. we have for this week's show. Remember, 2.30 kickoff, Lewis Field, Oklahoma State, and Oklahoma. For Bob Simmons, our entire crew here at Educational Television Services, Tom Dorado. Goodbye, everybody, 